Hi guys, James here from plumberparts.co.uk. I've got a really good video for you guys here today, really simple. I'm gonna show you the easiest way possible for you to join soil and waste pipe together. So that's the four inch pipe that often comes out the back of your toilet, goes down the side of your house. It can be really, really difficult to fit together if you don't know the little easy steps on how to do it. And also, if you don't know about these two amazing products here. At the end of this video, you will be able to buy these products on our Amazon store. I'll leave links for that below. But before we continue, hit the subscribe button, hit the dingy ding bell bell so you get a notification when we upload a new video and let's get on with the video remember everybody thing to hold tight the job i'm doing today is really really simple we've got a load of four inch pipe behind us it's all been hacked off hacksawed off at the ends and what we've got to do is i've got to lay it in the trough above us all the way along there and what i'm actually going to do is use it as a hot air duct to duct hot air from my heater down at that end of the studio all the way down to the front door so when people come in out of the front door they get a little bit of nice warm air on them. I thought the easiest way for me to do that is to do that with a bit of four inch pipe. Can't be hard can it? The thing is right guys, a lot of people will get four inch pipe and they will hack it with a hacksaw, they will try to push it into sockets, they will try to push it together and because they haven't used the right tools or they've taken no time on putting a nice chamfer on the end of the pipe, you're going to struggle to get it together. So look, let me show you what I'm on about. So if we look closely at this pipe here, we'll see that I've just cut this with a standard oscillating multi-tool. I've got a Bosch one behind me that I'm using. And we've got a very hard right angled edge on the end of the pipe. Now when you're trying to push that into a fitting, okay, I know we're going from brown underground to gray above ground here, but you know, this is effectively the same problem for everything. They all work in the same way. So before you start hammering into that keyboard, guys, just think about that, all right? Inside here, we've got a small rubber sort of flangey bit in there. And when you try and push these two together, it's really, really difficult to do. Let's try and do it again. <laughs> really, really difficult to do, right? That's problem number one that I know you guys are gonna come up against when you're trying to put this stuff together. Problem number two is obviously, usually the lengths that this sort of pipe comes in, you're looking at roughly a three meter length. And the problem is we often don't have somewhere suitable for you to cut it if you're cutting it down to a different size. So that's when the guys from Metex come in. Metex have made two products that I think all of us, plumbers should definitely have in our vans. Brilliant, simple, can hang up and slot up out of the way in the van or go up in the shed or whatever. But before we do that, let me show you how we used to do it in the old days. Hell yeah! Well, I guess you want to know how we do pipes together back in the day. Go on then, Western Plumber Parts. Looks like it's going to be easy. You bet it's going to be easy. All I need is a trusty saw and a trusty fire. Right, here we go. Ah. Believe me. It's like an easy job. Let me show you how I chamfer it. I get my file here and I just start doing that. Mate, that doesn't look easy at all. What do you mean it doesn't look easy? I mean that you're filing away for ages with a tiny file when if you had the right tool it would be miles easier. Well, I'm sorry, sir, but this is just the way we do it back in the day. And if you don't like it, you can just go shove off back to the present. Thank you very much. <laughs> Available for any acting jobs, just speak to my agent. It's a tabby cat called Big G. So then guys, that's how people did it back in the day. And as you can see, look, it's mashed up. It's not in a great state. It was very, very hard for us to work on. So the thing is, right, the first bit that we've got to sort out is a stable surface and a stable piece of pipe to actually work on. Now, that's when this becomes amazing, very, very simple. And I do think all the best solutions in the world of tools not only come from necessity, but also ease of use. So all we do is pop the pipe over here, and that's it, ready for us to work on. Really, really simple, really easy. Um, the next thing, I mean, it's fairly simple. We've got the pipe champ here, and it, to be honest, it's quite a handy thing to use. If you're only gonna cut a small bit off, or you want to make a piece of pipe nice, you can actually use the pipe chamf if you just take it off your drill as a mark. So you can pop it over here, get yourself a felt tip or whatever you use to mark your pipe, pop that on there like so, 
and then just make sure it's nice and square, roughly square, and use that as a nice mark for us to, to get that cut. Simple now, I usually use a oscillating tool like this. You can use a hacksaw if you like. These are just quicker, um, and they're pretty good. They do a nice cut. <laughs> So you guys can see exactly what I mean here, how much easier it is to do this job when you've got a nice stable surface to work on. It's just miles easier, miles neater, and obviously guys, it's a lot quicker. And there we go, that's cut off now. So we've solved the problem there and then of how we stabilize this product, how we stabilize our pipe to actually cut it and get it on. Now the next thing we need to do is eradicate the need for us to use that file, because that was really annoying. Now the pipe champs are really, really easy, simple piece to use, simple product to get working with. That's why I think it's great because the easiest ones are the simplest ones. Just bang it on your drill. You can have it on two speeds. I mean, it's up to you which speed you want to use it on. Um, I tend to just use it on level one, speed one, the lowest speed. And then you just pop it on the end up here, just like so. We have now made a nice little chamfer just there. So yeah, once you've got that on there, look at that. How nice is that chamfer now? Now, the proof for this sort of thing will be in the pudding. Can we just push this on like it is now? Straight away. The next thing I'd always say you should do anyway, just a little bit of fairy liquid or some sort of lubricant. It doesn't matter how good the chamfer is, this just helps. And also if you get a measurement wrong, look, just see that, I'm just running that round now. Also, if you get a measurement wrong, then it's very simple for you to pull it off and get it all going. So look, here we go. Done, boom, sorted, easy. That makes pushing together a socket for four inch or any other pipe, because we can go up to 160 millimeter pipe on this with this particular beast. So look, if you want to take it off as well, easy to do. Fairy liquid is a very, very handy little beast to have. So guys, I've got to get on with getting these all taken up there now. So why don't you watch me while I get all of these pipes prepared, all their ends nicely sorted out and cut, and get on with this job. Right then guys, ready to go to get all my ducting in so I can finish off the wall up there on my studio. Guys, if you get a minute, please click on the link over to my vlog channel at Times with James. I do loads of random things on that video, loads of build projects from the shed, learning to fly, and also lots of history documentaries as well, and just random vlogs too. So then guys, there you go. You've seen how easy it is to use the pipe grip that we've got here to make sure that our pipe is stable. Straight away makes the job of joining together saw pipes so much quicker, so much easier. And also the pipe chamfer, easy just to whack on any old drill, spin it around, get yourself a nice chamfer. You'll never ever use a file and a hacksaw again to do this particular job, it's so much easier. If you wanna buy any of these guys, then go over to our Amazon store, I've left links below. Go to the tools I love section and you'll find them along with loads of other tools that I use as well in there. Remember, if you wanna see outtakes of this video, because there are outtakes, you have to become a plumber patron over on our Patreon account, so check that out as well. By all means, remember to subscribe, click the notification button as well, click so you get a little wee tinkle on the bell when we upload a new video. And remember everybody, to hold tight. See you soon.